Yeah. Howdy doody, pounds and newbies. Um, if you haven't played it before, this is Death Road to Canada, which, uh... It's a pretty decent game. Um, Story-driven, fully. Uh, you can make custom characters in it, which I've done. Uh, let's go back here. Oops. Go back. Go back. Okay, there's no game slots. Okay, um... His name is Let. Uh, let's load up my character. How do I do that? It's not letting me load characters. Hold on, wait a second. Where's my mouse? Just disappears. Okay. Why does it always? See if my character is even in here anymore. Doesn't seem like it. No, see, when I select some stuff, it just isn't working. Okay. Let's see if we can use mouse. There we go. Okay, so for some reason the controller's just being goofy. Are you re are you for realsies? Get out of here. Okay, that music's pretty consistent. All right, let's do it. Regular mode. Get out of here. Quit rubbing my cords. Merrick hears rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies. Get out of here! Character stats are initially hidden. Characters you recruit may be lying about their abilities. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's hit the road. To start the journey, the group needs to decide to grab some supplies from a nearby location in order to survive the death road. You'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You will also need to find ways to train and grow your team. Okay, so we, should we go... House on the Road? Or Quiet Hotel? Or Rest Stop, okay. Rest Stop would probably give you food and gas. Hmm. The rest stop probably would have been hit a lot. It's at the quiet hotel. The group decides to go through an empty town with no supplies to be found on the little zombie activity. One small hotel seems to be more undead roaming through it than the rest. Alright, let's take a look. Uh, it's not nightfall, is it? I don't need a flashlight. Uh, and with the custom characters, it's actually pretty cool because um, you can really customize them. Like, my character is friend of animals or something like that, so if we find a dog along the road, I can, I can get it. Uh, Cruel Rain has paranoia, which actually became more useful than I had thought when I started. Um, he questions everything that we come across, which is really cool. Um, and you'll get to see some of that here as we go. Um, let's see, okay, roll. Let's 
status. All right, let's do this. Oh, it's kind of laggy a bit because I'm recording, which is weird because this is like a very pixelated game. Maybe if I change the window to windowed mode, it'll run a bit smoother. My guy's getting fatigued. Jeez, dude. I, I cannot even hurt these guys. Okay, I guess I can't get into settings from here. That stinks. Um. So, like, we're wasting time here. But I don't know... What the heck, man. Oh. This X? Okay. What do we got here? Uh, I wish... Um... It wasn't lagging so hard. The fabled lag. I should have gotten rid of the grain in the settings. I think that's... I got rid of the glitch, but I, I didn't get rid of the... Uh, or not the glitch, but there was something else I had to get... I could get rid of. There was like this fuzziness about it. Um, I didn't expect a story aspect, aspect game with uh, a bunch of pixelation run this badly in full screen. Of course, this is not the greatest laptop, so... I just expected it to be something I could play on my laptop so I could just relax on my couch. Apparently not. Apparently it's so advanced. That's how advanced it is, guys. I have no idea where Coral Rain went. There he is. What is he doing? I actually got a somewhat better weapon now. Let me switch. Oh, there we go. Get you, man. Yeah. I remember uh, I, when I played this with Cool Rain. So I'm like controlling both characters. Like, like, look at this. I think that might have something to do with uh, DS4 Windows controller. Yeah, I think it thinks that there's two players, when there really isn't. I've had this happen before, on a bunch of games, when it comes to using DS4 Windows. So we'll probably die pretty quickly. Oh my god. I think that's that might be part of why it's lagging as well. Because it thinks there's two players. So 
So I'm like switching weapons with both characters, which stinks. Oh, his uh, wrench is already busted. I was wondering what was going on with that whole character situation. Badly executed. Oh my god, dude, the lag. Can I, like, come back to this after I fix this stuff? Why is this not open? Probably because one of us is opening it and the other one might be closing it? Yes. Oh my god, that's gonna get old. There's nothing even in here. Nothing in here. Yeah, let's get out of here. So I found some gas, some ammo, some food. This is probably my favorite part of it. Not so much the uh, actual combat and stuff anyway. I like the story part, really. Group finds a large campsite that is occupied by a few carloads of other survivors. Camping with strangers is risky, but there's nowhere else to go. None are heading to Canada. Drive off with no sleep. Camp with them. Coral Range doesn't trust them. Okay. Let's hit this one. Roraine does not trust anyone in the camp. He stays up all night watching for any signs of trouble. Nothing happens, and he is exhausted in the morning. The group eats a decent meal. Oh, Mondays. <laughs> Merrick tries to help, but lacks in medical supplies. Okay. Group spots an infested city off of the road. Scouting it from afar, the group has to decide whether to fight under the noon sun for supplies. Best at strong order the sporting goods store. Oh fine, quit and delete the save. Hey, yeah, your cat. Yeah, so it thinks I'm using two player controls, which is probably why it's lagging so hard, is trying to process two players, which are not even two players. So, anyway, uh, this is a pretty good game. I would definitely check it out. If you want something real quick to play with a friend or something, it's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it's... I, I can't believe this is running this way. But yeah, I am recording using camera and uh, playing games with the S4 Windows and it thinks there's two players. Okay. Take it easy, guys. Yeah.